Yo, status is first, a certificate at my birth Made my blessing of life a curse Going in my mom's purse and my dad's wallet Doing things I shouldn't be doing, but I lack knowledge No ancestral homage, only knew Tanjim and Lamzi On the other side, only knew Popeye and Granny I learned a lot, not enough street taught me to eat by hustle And never knew the more bites of muscle men Only muscle men I knew lifted weights on bars Most of my heroes from my hood looked through bars Punches in backs, face with scars Told me store weed in jars Get freedom, they just wanna see stars Saying things Change when you live on a range where grown men don't act their age and act in rage as he turns life's page and welcomes change. Can't be black, that hex keeps your minds enslaved. Don't be offended when we say we're not black. Boys have a status, they can't make us a stat. Might be a ball cap, not a fez, we rockin'. Moorish, more Aboriginal, Alma rockin'. Don't be offended when we say we're not black. Boys have a status, they can't make us a stat. Might be a ball cap, not a fez, we it's not just me, my people are tripping Playing racism and prejudice, playing the victim Victimizing themselves won't be responsible Still calling Inquisition clan highwaymen constable An officer, KRS one told you overseer Faith is lost in fruition, open slap a believer Believing when the root of believe is lie Conscious coons love to debate, I don't know why Passing collection plates, conscious ties get paid Followers dumb, it's not where you at but where you from Too many men the blockages clear you some Like phlegm on your chest Correct your status Mars would hear you son With no stress or arguments We forever students Feel no way to dead a nuisance Stabbed to death with facts and truth Left black and blue Facing the corner with a dunce cap on you Don't be offended when we say we not black Mars have a status They can't make us a stat Might be a ball cap Not a fence we rockin' Moorish, more Aboriginal, Alma rockin' Don't be offended when we say we not black Mars have a status Flashbacks of dead days, drinking 40s of Schlitz, port blue paper spliffs before bloods and crips at CMP, Nia telling us raise our consciousness and stop rhyming about nonsense. Gotta say thanks, cause that brother was on it. If I could go back, trust that I would be on it. No sweat or regrets, though, still made it. Thanks to Allah, our ancestors were patient. Let me do my BS, escaping scars and jail bars. Drunk putting pedal to the metal and crash no cars. So protected, even though I neglected higher self all those years, lower self accepted. Finally inspected and lower self rejected like Mayday. Learned many lessons in my heyday, in many sessions. Bumping more deep in Smith and Wesson. Around thug life, all you hear about is weapons. From pistols to blaze, Rambo or butterfly style. Pigs always shake you down cause of the gutter lifestyle. It was really preparation nowadays for what we facing and defending against corpse nation. Don't be offended when we say we not black. Boys have a status, they can't make us a stat. Might be a ball cap, not a fence we rockin'. Moorish, more Aboriginal, Alma rockin'. Don't be offended when we say we not black. Boys have a status, they can't make us a stat. Might be a ball cap, not a fence we rockin'. Moorish, more Aboriginal, Alma rockin'. Yeah. Love, Mars. Love. Uh, rise and do our, do our honors. Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of father of the universe. A lot of father of the universe. Father of love. Father of love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. And my salvation. And my salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. To his holy prophet. To his holy prophet. No Ujwali. No Ujwali. Islam. Islam. To be proclaimed every meeting. I hereby inform all members. Thank you, uh, Nur. I hereby inform all members that they must put an end to all radical, agitating speeches while at work, in their homes, or on the public streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans, it causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any group or any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds.
not true Moors will and must obey the laws as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card and button, cease wearing their turban and fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Nobu Juali, and if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, is there, the prophet therefore is sending out a divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting the prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways. Nobu Juali. Islam. 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 To be proclaimed at every meeting. I am glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There is a host of jealousy about me and the movement now by the same people on our side of the nation that claim I was only a joke and unreal. But now since they have found out from the government officials and the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for the earthly salvation as American citizens. They are working every scheme that they can to disqualify me so they may take charge of the situation. I have notified all these things to you long ago in the past. It is through the faithful Moors that attribute to the movement and uplifting funds. The ones that paid their divine respect to me and the movement will be remembered. That is why I am calling upon all faithful Moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet, and your divine Moorish movement. I need finance and I need it badly. Never before have I needed finance so badly as I do at present so I can shove aside the discord that is facing the nation. It all comes through jealousy because of my fame and nobility. The nations of the world will not recognize the movement without I, the prophet, being head. It has been proven by my works which I have performed in the past few years. Prophet Noble Juali. To the members of the Mora Science Temple of America, this is the instruction from your prophet Noble Juali. Be faithful unto your forefathers' divine and national creed that you will be blessed for your good deeds that you sow in the flesh. Allah is the one that judges the world and his judgment is now on. But the weak can comprehend it not. The end of time is drawing near. So says Allah to his divine prophet, I know Juali. And that is why many hearts have been turned to stone. Many have eyes to see but cannot see. Ears to hear but cannot hear. Least they will be confounded of their sins. These are trying hours now, dear Moors. And every evil spirit is moving. And they are trying every weak mind to, to overthrow and drag out the, found, the true foundation that has been laid and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not what you hear or see, but will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your movement and your profit. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies that are the one your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest, and the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your temples. Act accordingly, and Allah would bless you for your good work. Peace. Now, one of the um, things, too, that we just want to put out there. Um, your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet. They don't only speak against your prophet. They also speak against RV Bay Publications. They also speak against Taj Tariq Bay. They also speak against Canaan Land Moors. They also speak against Alim Bay. They speak against Asir, the Duke of Tears. They speak against MHHS. They speak against active, civic-minded Moors. They speak against anything having to do with constitution. They speak against anything having to do with treaty. Right? These are your enemies. And they're amongst you right now. Ready to convince you to abandon your birthright. Right? Um, today is going to be um, Q&A day, so if you got any questions, feel free to throw those up. We'll... Um, Get the ones that we got on the email to start. Does anybody have any um any questions? I don't remember. Talk? Did you guys did you guys announce the what's it called the meeting? The oh, the um, town hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we didn't announce town hall yet. Yeah. You did it? No. Town hall will most likely be um Saturday. It'll be a conference call, mm -hmm. and there'll be a repeat of that um the following sometime in the week. So. I'll send out an email, and it's just a phone number you have to call in. You call into the number, mm -hmm. and we'll have the same parliamentary procedures. If you have your handbook, hold on to your handbook. Um, same thing that we, the same process that we go through is just over the phone. Sorry, all right, can I 
is there a reason why we couldn't have it here on a certain day, or is there a preference for that? Um, we might do a, a day in person, but um, if the numbers are aren't uh, are too much, then we'll just do the conference call. Right. Mm -hmm. So we'll be sending out an email in the next couple of days. Don't okay. worry. All right. Okay. Well, <clears throat> why don't we why don't we put out a, a email to see if we could get yeah. confirmations yes. who could be here. Yeah. In other yeah. words, if you say yay, you better be here. Right. right. No, so actually, I just want to uh, camel back on that. To me, the feeling is let's put the email out there. If 50 people respond, mm -hmm. then we know it's got to be conference. If 15 people respond... Yeah, that's what we're saying. So, But I think, of, sorry, just to, last thing. I just think I, I like the tactility of people being together. In, in, in physical, I, I get the phone thing. Yeah, but everybody has to be included. We can't be, we can't be excluding people or making it difficult for people to get involved or having people out in the cold, especially in the winter. During this, this during the summertime, I understand we could just, we have town hall in the middle of the, of the forest. True. But we have to be cautious about when we call something, do we have the, the proper facilities, you know what I mean? So that's why I say it will most likely be a conference call because I'm not expect I'm expecting people to show up. I'm expecting that everybody who's come up to me and told me that they're waiting for the town hall to actually call in. I'm saying either a weekday evening or a week or a weekend afternoon, right? Those are the two times that are most you know oh, well, sure. reasonable for most people. Here's a question: What about trying to get Flemo for the town hall? Well, the thing is, the town the, there has to be a town hall coming up soon because people have been waiting. People have things that they have to bring up. That which is why it's more expedient. Just it's more expedient to just have the call. If the call, but we like like you said, we'll send out the email within a, soon today, tomorrow, the next day, yeah. and Depend on the depending numbers. on the on the on the response, we'll yeah. go from there. We'll go, we'll go from there. Based on the number. Yeah. yeah. Only man not You feel left out. <laughs> 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 Rare, you know. <laughs> Years ago, you'd be a majority. Anyway, you know. I washed my hair last night. You know, my hair is Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Nafi Gamba El, uh, uh, more in Canaan land near British Columbia, recently got my nationality card. Is there a process to be able to not pay tax at work? I've been watching, studying your videos, appreciate them, and I've learned a lot. Also, I seen one of your videos on Canada. You mentioned the criminal code section 15. It basically said that persons in de facto possession do not have power over sovereigns. Would I be able to use that? to despite dispute a speeding ticket I got a while back. So first of all, with um to be able to work with regard to um the tax and the work. The the idea idea of proclaiming our nationality is due to self-determination, self-authority, self-autonomy. What Nobujwali did was cover all these bases for us. The problem that we have today is that this is not in existence for Moors. We look at other peoples and we can see that they have these things, or one of these things, or two of these things, right? So the problem that happened is that people are coming into this self-determination, self-authority, self-autonomy mindset but they're dealing with colonial powers. They're not dealing with themselves, right? When we look at 
Um, when we look at Noble Juali's time, Moors were dealing with themselves. If a Moor wanted something, they went to another Moor to get it. They weren't going to somebody else. No different than Chinese. They're going to go to a Chinese to get whatever today. Right? Um, make sure you read. Make sure you read Book of Job. So you can get the perspective of what a job is. What the purpose of a job is. Right? As Moors, we're not supposed to have these. As Moors, we're supposed to be about self. Now we understand that the people who claim to be in the so called power, right, they have it set up where, you know, we have to go to them for whatever it is they claim they have, right? As far as the government side of it, as far as um, um, society, etc., right? We, we have to engage them in some sort of way, which is where it comes into with Juali telling the Moors, part and parcel, and then UN declarations saying that every, every state is supposed to assist Aboriginal and Indigenous people. Who said that? The UN, UN DRIP. The UN Declaration. Right? UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People that every state has to recognize. Now, we know from, from experience, just with... Um, um, just with reservation of rights, we know the, the head banging that we have to do with these people just to reserve your rights on a contract with them. Forget getting 50000 from them because we want to start a Moorish community or whatever, that they're obligated because they signed on to you and drip. So they're obligated to assist, but they're not assisting. Right? Just like um, when we talk about um, the good Dr. Ivan Van Serma, that because he was teaching about Moors, he got mad threats from the institution that he got his degree, that you can't talk about that or we're going to deport you. <clears throat> right? Go check the, the, um, the, the books that he wrote, <laughs> right? Um, and the language that's used in the books. When we when we look at um, majority of the so-called black scholars, the chapter on the Moors is very few. Much less books about it. He was one of the few that his books were geared toward teaching his people about these people called Moors. Right? Called black ball. He had a job. He went to school, got a degree or whatever like that, became teacher, professor, or whatever like that. He had a job. He was from South America, Aboriginal and Indigenous. Pretty sure they hit him up for taxes. Why? Because once you are in that realm, that's controlled by them, they're going to dictate terms. And their mentality is, for, for, us, for us to save finance, right, being a corporation, for us to save finance, we have to bring corporate people on so they can pay the tax, not us. We get the profit, and then the employees pay the tax that really the corporation is supposed to be paying. The employees aren't supposed to be getting taxed by the corporation. They're not supposed to be going into people's check and taking pension and taking all this stuff out. They're only taking those stuff out because the people are 
corporate entities, part of the corporation. So when you say, I'm a moron, and I'm going to go on the job and not get taxed, their mentality is, well, then we don't need it. We're just going to go hire somebody who's willing to pay the tax. They no big deal to them. Right? Because it comes back to the thing again that we're going to them. So because we're going to them, they have, they obviously have all the cards to the game and we don't. Or we wouldn't be going to them because we'll have our own cards over here and we'll be doing our own stuff over here. Not even worrying about them. Which is the whole point of us, you know, um, getting in this mindset of, you know, more who have businesses support those more. More who are doing good work support those more. More that are, you know what I mean? Because it's only going to come from ourself doing it. Now, for myself, I have a job. But I know that what these colonists are giving me at the job is going to help me fund the revolution that's going to get the colonists out of here. I know that. Right? I'm not, you know, um, um, obligated to them because uh, I work there and all that stuff. Right? Regardless of what it is that you do. You're not obligated to, you know, um, to, to be there only because they're giving you the check. But if there was, you know, if, if there was no rent, <clears throat> there wouldn't be the issue of have a job. Because if you want food, you just plant. Like they, where, what else is people's finance going to other than rent or mortgage or whatever? Car payment or insurance or things that have nothing to do with really living, surviving. It's about keeping the illusion, the illusion going. Right? So you can't be a more and, re and really have a job, really. Because automatically the tax issue is going to come up and these people are not paying your tax. If you get 40000 a year working at a job, no tax. Somebody has to pay the tax on the 40000 that, that that corporation is paying every year. And it's not going to be them. Because then they're paying twice. They're paying the tax and they're paying the 40000 They'll say forget that. Get rid of that guy. We'll keep you on here because of the whole, you know, you can pull up the constitution and you can pull up the whatever and say you got rights and you got this and that. So they'll keep you on for a little bit. You know, it might seem like, yeah, it's, this is going down now, it's going down or whatever, but it's going to come, especially out here. Because remember that the, the, the whole idea of um, IRS is that IRS has nothing to do with gov with the government. They are separate corporations, so they have their own forms. As far as over there, that if you go on a job, you can fill out these forms to not get taxed. This is how Moors over there, as far as south of us, not get taxed at the job. Because they filled out some IRS form so that they don't get taxed. Whereas here, there's not there, that's there's not that option. Right? Why is that? Because of the whole idea of it's fraud from the top down here. Remember, they have a constitutional obligation over there. Where is the act? Over here it's an act. But the act only applies to members of parliament. It doesn't apply to the people. But if the people think that they're Canadian, then they are employees of Canada. Just like parliament, hence they can be taxed. Hence they have to put towards Canada pension. Hence they have to put towards all this stuff that really has nothing to do with them, really. Because when somebody says, um, you know, well, I've been putting, I don't want to lose my pension. So I've been working for 50 years, I don't want to lose my pension. 
right? How could you not lose what's yours? That's yours. That's yours. That's supposed to be your nest egg. But why are they holding a ransom? And then, well, if we take it out early, you're getting, you know what I mean? Penalty of half of it's gone. Because <laughs> you took it early. Mm -hmm. But it does. Yes, the, the perspective too is <clears throat> you don't have a job. Your straw has a job. Your name has a job. You don't have a job. Because if you're employed by a corporation, the, the corporation can only employ another corporation. So if you're trying for your name not to be taxed, your straw not to be taxed, that doesn't make sense. Because that's already corporate. It's already, it's already predetermined that that thing is going to get taxed. It's going to get taxed. And, and it's just predetermined for how much over years they've been doing that. Mm -hmm. Right? So to be, to be, you know, it's just like when we say, um, you know, for somebody to be black or taxed for 50 years, that 51st year, like, oh yeah, I'm a more, or, or don't want to be taxed. These people are looking back at the 50 years like, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk to the lawyers department and see how we're gonna deal with you or whatever because we're really not sure how to deal with you because you know 50 years ago we didn't have any issues with you with taxes there was no problem that's all real. of a sudden <laughs> that's real all of a sudden you don't want to pay no we're gonna double check triple check quadruple check to see if this is real and then they're gonna go into their little stuff come back with all this sovereign free sovereign of the land free man of the land whatever you are trying some you know what i mean debt elimination tax elimination scheme created by some europeans and all that stuff and then label you as you know anti-government because you don't want to pay tax when they're a corporation the tax doesn't apply to you because you're not a corporation and really and truly this is where it is again with the self-sufficiency that if you go if you think there's or if we had um, a Moorish corporation giving us jobs. You think they're accepting something other than a nationality card to give you your job? Definitely not. No. Right? <laughs> you think they're going in your check and taking out something? That, oh yeah, we're going to take this out and hold this for you until you're ready at age 65 or whatever and then we're going to give you your stuff. No, you get what you're... Because... Because... A wage... Income and compensation are a few different things. And every time you look at the quote unquote tax form, they're always asking you for this. Well, here it's called income tax. Sure. Why? Because income. Profit made off investments. Hmm. Which is taxable. And then you do work on that investing, so you shouldn't live it. It's okay. <laughs> right? You know, you know the, the boss investing, not you. But the straw is the straw is a corporation the that a corp the corporation that hired the corporation yeah. invested in that corporate in that straw. In that straw. Oh, and it made Profits. So the profit. yeah, the profits. The All your labor is profits. But it's the flesh and blood that is fulfilling. The yeah, but that has that's not that's yeah, not their they, business. They don't care about the flesh and blood. They don't. But I mean, <laughs> we should look at it from that perspective yeah. that no corporation ever did anything. It's still the people behind the corporation, right. and that's right. why when they're telling yeah. you to attack those corporations, you don't attack the corporation. You attack the people. Right. And this is why you always have. Um, when you go there, they never use you in front of them as proof that that's who you are. That's right. They want some instrument. Yeah, that's true. Well, right, because you are who you are. Mm -hmm. And if you have, if somebody says, "What's your ID?" and you're in front of them, and you give them an instrument, then they're going with that. Yeah. Okay, you're this instrument. Yeah. 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 They're not <laughs> going with your, you're who you are in front of you, right? Oh yeah, Mario. Well, I'm just okay. It's just making a comment when 
<clears throat> when the politicians every every year or every two years, every whatever, when they say, oh, we're going to tax the corporations, the corporations are bad, bra 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 people, they're talking about you. <laughs> That's basically it. Like, they, they're saying they're going to tax the corporation. Most people thinking that they're not a corporation. So this is where we're coming from with the income and the profit aspect of it. They're taxing you. So what most people should say is, yeah, no, let's, let's don't tax the corporations anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't let's, know that. Let's only tax the multi-million dollar corporations or there be specific with which corporations let's be specific. should be taxed. They're not being specific. There is a flat line, let's tax the corporation. So then, hence, you're going to be taxed, because that's your corporation being taxed. And again, this is just where we're at. Yes. This is not, there's not a, there's not a, um, like it's a, oh, we found this out and then there's a way out or whatever. The yeah. way out is not working for them. Not working, that's it. That's the way out. That's how you don't get taxed on your job. Stop working for them. That's it. That's really how you stop you know what I mean? The, the pressure from them is really about stop engaging them for stuff that you don't have to engage them for. But, you know, unfortunately, we have to engage them for certain things because of this is where yeah, we're at. When they come here first, right. like with the treaty and friendship to do business, how, how does that come? As far as... Yeah, but related. remember too, the treaty of peace and friend... The treaty, the treaty, the real treaty is the treaty between the Moorish Empire and the British Empire. That's the, that's the only treaty other than the Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787. Mm -hmm. When it comes to commerce and those things, it's, it's the British Empire. And Canada is not the British Empire. Canada is a corporation. India colony of the British Empire. No, it's not a colony either. Because even before, even before it, it, 1867, it was a dominion. And dominion has no legal context. So it was a gray area. But we see the British flag, and you see the British, um, what do they call it, the Union Jack on the Ontario flag. So as Moors, really, we shouldn't even, we should be asking, well, since you guys respect Britain and you still have some connection, then let's just talk about that. Let's not even talk about bylaws and acts and this and that. Forget all that stuff. No, oh, because Britain is deep into that. But then they're not going to send a representative from Britain. They're going to have to deal with the governor general. The actor. The actor. Who, even if they're fraud, then it's up, it's up to you as a Moor to send a letter to Great Britain and say, hey, who's this person pretending that they represent you? Do they really represent you? And, and see, and from a strong perspective either. Mm -hmm. And see what they say. No, 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 Instead no, no, of worrying no. about you know, I'm accent. Because in other words, when they come here, they come here to do business with the Moors. So how now? Because we yeah. Come then the business is yeah. nice but the, but being but they is not they is not the ones who run Canada or the ones who run US U dot S. They is British, British the actual proper imperial government, mm -hmm. which gangsters have taken over the operations here, so they really, it's like in order to help you or do anything with you, they would have to also battle the gangsters. And they, they have their own problems. They have Brexit. <laughs> you know, they're busy. Like, they're busy with their own stuff. Well, but I also take it from a perspective that there has been some acquiescence to the fact that they come over here, you realize that Canada is like the Hudson's Bay Company to America. They're just an offshoot of that, yeah. right? And then what's happened is the thugs have taken over, and they haven't minded that. There may be a, what you call, a, a civil war going on behind the scenes where some of them want stuff to be cleaned up. But ultimately, they, they are here for different motivations than, than what we think that they are, or what they're purporting to be. Yeah. They're not here to run government. They're here to sort of yeah, extract they're here to finance. Issue. They're here to yeah. rob. They're here to and do all is, the things that... And this was... When I was going to get back to with the taxes before, and even the so-called card, when you so-called go and put your license down there, remember the license, the license never showed up on that, on that countertop by itself. Someone had to put that license there. So really what you are is you're a surety to that unlawful contract. Yeah. And so it's that energy. 
And then to go a step further, the so-called taxes that you think you're paying aren't going to anything here. Right. Those are those are payments made to the gangsters. Right. That's why the, the debt keeps growing. So it's a mo it, it, the, the, the layering is so thick. That it's like it's like when um it's like when you have you have people going to church every Sunday mm. and they're putting money in the in the pass around bucket. But pastor's not saying we got we got government grant. Yeah. We don't really need you guys to put nothing in the bucket. Now we, we how do you think we built this building? You guys giving us twenty cents every every time we come here on Sundays? But that's what they'll pose it as. Oh yeah, you know, we are gonna use taxes and we we'll fix bus, the roads the and the... we fix this and we did this and all that stuff, but that's not really what's going on. But that is, yet again, a part of the extraction of the finance, too. Because technically you're supposed to go there and give 10% of your right, earnings. Right, right. Which right. is so-called the church, but the so-called the government, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, because because initially that, you know, the, tithe. the, the idea, that tithe idea, right, was really for the church, which was really the, the people. That was really the government. Right, the... the the kings and queens and whatever like that of Europe and all that, they were also tied with the quote unquote religious aspect. Getting the pot, getting the the holy whoever to, you know, bless the bullets and bless the swords and the shields and all so that, that type of stuff was, before they go take people's stuff. That's right, that was to go out and conquer. So, right. So religion was really the arm that was there to conquer the people. Right. And then um, and the other part of it with regard to um, the working is um, the reservation of rights at all times when you're dealing with these people. No matter what, no matter what they say, no matter what they offer, no matter what you're going to them for, know that you should be reserving your rights because they're a private corporation. Have nothing to do with you. So you reserve your rights, you put down when they tell you um, when they give you the, because remember the, the, the whole, remember all these are different entities, right? Canada Revenue Agency is separate from Canada Corporation, right? It's a separate thing. So when you're on your quote unquote job and you fill out whatever form for income tax, You're dealing with these people. If the stuff goes down, if something goes down, they're calling you. If there's a tax issue. Not these people. These people are calling you. Personally, they're dealing with you. And then in them dealing with you, they're gonna have their, you know, their own realm that they're gonna, you know, they're not even gonna be dealing with anything that these people deal with. Not at all. They're going to have their own realm, their own codes, their own stuff to say, oh yeah, you violated section, whatever, whatever. That has nothing to do with this. It has to do with these people. It has everything to do with J-O-B, though, at the end of it, though. Yeah, because J-O-B is contracted yeah. with them. But J-O-B is also contracted with them. Right. But ultimately, it's the J-O-B that enforces the CRA. Right? When well, it comes time for you to say, let's say, owe them yeah. some money. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's your J-O-B that's the J-O-B who's then, gonna, is then who's gonna the say strong arm. check mark for the garden sheet. Right. It's your J-O-B who's gonna say, oh yeah, check mark, they actually do work here and yeah. they made yeah. forty thousand, yeah. but their taxing says they only made thirty thousand. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which again The conflict of interest. When, when you conflict of interest and then when you when you fill out the fo the so called forms and you put things on them like one of the things that that I would do is when they say you know um in the um income on the top or whatever right they always give you they always give you a minimum amount right of the so called income that you can put on the form right they give you a minimum amount of the income to put on the form When you put the minimum amount, they take out less taxes. But then when you do your income taxes, then you're going to have to pay it back then. Right? So you put the minimum on the form, and then when they send you 
whatever during income tax time, then you write your rich challenging them on who are they, what are they about, and, you know what I mean? I don't know who you are, you guys telling me that I owe you something or whatever like that. Sorry, I don't know what you guys are talking about. And in doing your studying, you'll know how to deal with these people when they try to come at you for certain things. But those sorry to say. Yeah, I just want to add to well, deal with my situation at my slavery. Because, um, just to also add that I've worked at places where, I mean, they have given me tax off, and I've also worked at places where they don't. Right? And based on my observation, is like the smaller the company is, it's probably a better chance. Easier, so, yeah. 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 Right? The bigger the company is, you probably forget about that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, but where I'm working at, I mean, where I'm sleeping at right now, is a big company and I mean I presented my non-obligation status and you know what I mean they basically said whatever no they did they violated so I basically defaulted them and I just left it at that I didn't really tell nobody or tell nobody or my coworker I didn't really talk about it I just whatever so now there was a situation where they tried to write me up for safety issues, like, you know, because I listen to my headphones, so basically it helps me go through the slavery, you know, I listen to music, I listen to lectures, whatever, you know. So now they're attacking me now, and so I'm like, okay, whatever. You guys are attacking me now, I, I, I call it their safety stuff, and then so they were like for an hour and a half, they were basically, I was in a, office, in a room and they were interrogating me, whatever. So I said, okay, whatever. They're calling it, the, because they wanted to sign some stuff on myself. I said, I ain't signing nothing, whatever. So they said, oh, we're calling the general manager. So now the general manager comes in and the general manager is like, well, I know it's, uh, it's the holidays right now. It's, just, it's a day before Christmas. And you know what? Just take the day off with pay. And come back after the holidays and we'll figure out all the stuff, whatever. And I was just like sitting there and like the people that were attacking me, like they didn't say nothing or do nothing, but yeah. you could see that I was looking in their face, no eye contact, yeah. no nothing. I'm like, wow. So I'm thinking that the only way that he would be on my side like that and not there, because it's them, is because maybe he, at least he knows, because general manager, he's the yeah. big boss of yeah, the yeah, company. Yeah. So yeah. I know he knows I probably he fought a them. little more. Exactly. More so more. maybe he's trying to play safe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or whatever the case is. But I, I would say that even if they don't deny you, even if they deny you, when you um, come to them, just go through the procedures like anything. Don't make a big deal out of it. And like you never know what could happen down there. You know, down the road. You make it play itself out. Instead of yeah. trying to force the issue. You just do your part as a war, like what a war would do, you know what I mean? Right. You, you, you put them on notice. They violate, you go through the motions, and then you leave that back. Right. Right. And then I went and and again with um with the whole the whole concept of, of putting putting them on notice as far as your status with those quote unquote jobs or whatever, that from from my experience, when I put them on notice, they just said, come to the office or whatever. Sat in the office, same thing, you know, no eye contact, everybody looking at the desk or whatever like that. Slid their little paper. It's this, oh well, you know, we're downsizing and stuff like that, we don't need people no more, whatever, whatever. But, you know, and then they slid the check. Seven grand. Either you stay as the name that we got or take the seven grand and just sign this thing. We can't talk about anything, whatever. I will. Thanks for coming, <laughs> It's all right. No problem. It's all right. You know what I mean? I don't take it personal. I already know what's up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was at it was at YMCA, and you know, not having the knowledge, we see the guys in the elevator all the time with their little with their little G rings and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And never really registered. So we started getting on this information, went on the news and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Had big impact, 
everybody's, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys know about Masons and all that stuff? Yeah, alright, cool. They might as well go let the job know, since I was on news and all that stuff, might as well go let them know. Because they know now yeah. what's up. They weren't having it. And then you research YMCA and you realize that's the Christians who were going around pillaging and stuff like that. They have nothing to do with young men's coming to the villa gym and all that type of stuff. All that's late, right? They were about pillaging, going there, raping little girls and raping little boys and all that stuff. Well, that's, what, that's what that was about. That's what it was about. That's really what it was about, right? Um, anybody else got any questions right now? I have a question. I, I think I already told you, but I got an email from the CRA telling me I'm, I'm eligible for like a 400 or something dollar tax return. Yeah. But I've never had a job in my life, so I don't understand how that makes sense. <laughs> and I, I, never, I, have, I got my SIN, but I never used the SIN either, like on anything. So I don't understand how that even makes sense. Now, one right. thing with CRA is that they themselves are battling so much fraud. Of people trying to impersonate them yeah. mm -hmm. so because of the fraud that they do. Mm -hmm. People are impersonating them to rob people. Yeah. So if you go on their site, they have an investigation part on their site mm -hmm. where they have all the phone numbers of the people who call, send people letters, whatever like that, saying that they're CRA. You know what I mean? Um, there was a just <laughs> maybe, maybe a month ago or something like that. Maybe a month ago, a little over a month ago. There was calls going around. Yeah, this is kind of a revenue agency. Mm -hmm. You didn't pay your taxes, whatever like that. You owe 10000 you need to pay right now. We're going to send somebody to your house to come get the whatever. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay right now, credit card over the phone or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, People yeah. panicking, getting all their stuff, giving out their info. That's not even CRA. Yeah, Just some people. That's crazy. Posing as them. Everybody doesn't know, even the banks. I'm like, well, this one, I don't have a, I don't have this bank. Why they tell me about that? Why they send it over there? It takes, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's like keeping it. I don't have yeah. it, man. Yeah. So this is a fraud. It's called a big one. This is funny, though. Fishing, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but mine looks like it's the official answer. Yeah, yeah. Because the guy's funny. It had the Canada thing at the bottom, too. Oh, yeah. They they go all in. But I came to it. They're not asking from him, you know. They wanted to give him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? asking me in front if of you. you never worked ever, yeah. you never used yeah, social ever, how are they wanting to give you something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're going to ask you for money. Ask that? for information. To information. Give you. Right? They need information to send it to the account. Send it to yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? But that's just, that's just like, you know, when, 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 you're, when you're dealing with, um, one, you have the whole internet, whatever. <clears throat> right? That people just go up there and they just put whatever on there. They don't care. They don't even... Penetrate that, you know. Okay, well now whoever has access to your stuff, right? Um, that's just what you're gonna get. You're just gonna have that. These people running their fraud. These people doing all this illegal activity under the guise of they're a business or they're a corporation or they're a bank or they're a whatever. And then the, remember, just like the um, the whole thing with um, um, like on the internet, right? The virus protection people make the viruses. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Right. They sell you the protection. After. They sell you the protection after. Same. Same play. Right. It's don't be surprised if CRA has their people out there doing this, and this is how they're getting the money that they don't get. <laughs> <laughs> the finance that they don't get, they have their operators that they're gonna say, send 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 out a mass message. So all these numbers, you know what I mean? Because they have their connection at Rogers. They talk to their Rogers connection. They get all the numbers. Send out all the numbers. Right? And whoever applies, that's a bonus. Because it's not, you know, remember, because they got the red thing on there, so they're sending out all the mail for free. They're not paying for that. Right? Um, when individuals, like, if somebody calls back, says, yeah, I'm, who am I, whatever. Oh yeah, well we just need to double check your whatever like that. Can we have your this information? Remember, they're going on the same thing. Well, it said the Canada logo on the bottom, and you know there's a guy that said representative of CRA. They must that must be them. It might not it might not be them because from top down you're dealing with corporations that are foreign to over here. So their so their whole mindset 
is racketeering at all times. Like we said, international bankers in control of Congress, in control of IRS, send you a letter. Red letters on there and all that stuff. CRA send you a letter. Red letters. You need to pay right now if you don't pay. That's extortion. <laughs> but they're supposed to be government. But they're extorting people and then people are like, oh, well, well um, you know, I don't know how to pay it. Can you give me an extension on whatever like that? So you start going there, they know they got you. And then they'll ride that forever. How much letters do you think? Your brother was telling me um, the other day he got... Um, He's still getting GST checks. He's at 40 something. Getting GST checks still. I haven't been caught up. I just like last time I got a GST check. I still get one. Yeah? And you already know what they're trying to do with you. Saying right. Hold them. Yeah. <laughs> but they're giving you checks. <laughs> <laughs> Question I question I had is uh, pertaining to as we were talking about at CRA and those people trying to get whatever funds that they can. Also, I remember one point in time I kind of fell off with the the, the science with cryptocurrency, but I remember all those um, IRS and CRA IRS pretty much making mention they're going after the citizen because. They can't. Then they're they're doing a lot of things, and and they're not making mention of how much they're getting from like Bitcoin and those kind of different yeah. things, right? So they even went after the corp, the uh, the wallet companies, the companies that that hold the uh, amount of the currency, and the companies are saying that they're not telling the citizens to not report this to their income tax. That's what they're doing. Mm. So you can't really come after us, you know. So, but. If you're self-employed, um, that can like they can't really talk you on that way unless we have agreement with them in the contract, you know, or in some kind of a contract where that affects your their plans that you agree upon with yourself and them, you know. But that's something that I, that kind of struck out to me still as I was hearing that reason. And, and also too, like because of the status is why they can tell the corporations, you need to tell us the freaking stuff. Mm. We want to know, because we own you guys. Yeah. You guys are registered yeah. to us. What do you mean you're not telling the, pe the, the people that they got to pay taxes or they got to let us know whatever? What do you mean you're not telling? Except the fact that those are international currencies mm. and then the companies that are registered in those jurisdictions that's the case, right. you know what I mean? Those de facto governments can tell them, hey, you know, get these, you know, get these these energies that are out there loose, yeah. just yeah. in these wallets just in and these wallets. Yeah. unrecorded, right? Yeah. But if you're in one jurisdiction and you're with a Bitcoin company from another jurisdiction, yeah. right, in the world, you know, they can't it really makes tell it you. Harder. That. Yeah, it makes it harder. And that's the whole. And and then keep in mind that that. The world is moving towards backing away from dealing with fiat and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not just a Moorish concept that people are wanting to deal with, you know, uh, money that's backed by something. Or they want to deal with natural resources or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, everybody's moving towards the word this. You know, like our brother Tesla was talking about. Um, the, the, the smart people of the world are moving towards solar power. The dummies, they do light bills and stuff like that. Because it's really about, if energy is sitting there for you to get any time, 24 hours a day, all you have to do is face something to that. And you have all the energy that you want. The only thing is for them to try to monopolize that. Which they can't because that's natural resources. They don't control the sun, but they control that energy grid that you plug into. That they can say switch, and then nobody has anything except the people who had the stuff facing up to the stuff. That's the only people who's gonna have. And then you're then you're gonna have madness going on. Yeah, it seems like. Oh, sorry, um, since I had a question in the back. Are you good? 
Oh, um, I think it just goes to show that um, for me, my bias is entrepreneurship, um, getting people to uh, build their own sustainable business, you know, but it has to be based off what you know, whatever passions they're working on. Um, I know in my uh, experience, uh, the stuff that I'm working in, uh, there are uh, grants, uh, workshops, incubators uh, down in the core district, uh, but you need to first know, like, yourself, like, what your passion is, your skill set, if you're still transitioning or trying to transition away from just being overbroke or having a job, um, ask yourself, like, what skills can you put in to actually sustain yourself, or better yet, which amongst your peers can, or your, your homies can you, like, connect with and share your resources together, because I've known a bunch of startups in downtown, and it's always the people that grew up, the people that had the same passion and skills, whether it's um, film, media production, doing ads for other people, or some people coming together and doing a apparel t-shirt company. Um, it's whatever skills that you think you uh, want to pursue or develop, specialize in that, and find other people that are good in, uh, in the other aspects of business, whether it's the financials, the marketing, or the creation part, uh, creating the product. Um, if you guys like want to know more about that, Get me up. Um, would like to tell you guys what's available downtown. Uh, if you guys want to like think about getting away from having that, because you, uh, when you're an entrepreneur, you don't have to report uh, thirty thousand if you're making that uh, in a year to the government. They don't. Uh, you don't have to get a GST number because you're working for self. Um, so there's a lot of leeways in managing your own cash flow. And there's a lot of support groups that I know that can help you manage your. Uh, cash flow if you want to, you know, apply for financing or loan or grants, um, albeit if there's a competition or an incubator that helps grow your business out. So I would think about that as a possible alternative because uh, as more as you're supposed to be creating your own industries, uh, but you have to be good at your skills at the same time, so I'm not going to force that on you guys, but think about if you were to be able to start your own business, who would you start it with? What type of what kind of market do you think you think you can solve? Because the best businesses solve problems, not another goddamn hat or shirt. Just solve it. Like what what actual problems are you solving? Build around that. Build a team around that, and know your position in that team. Are you a leader? Are you a good side hustler? Like what are what what's your skills? Do that type of analysis first, uh, and then talk talk about it with your uh, the people that you can trust. What do you mean by incubator? What is that? So an incubator or an accelerator is either a government or a private uh, funded program that helps you from start up your business plan, like just from concept idea alone, all the way up to having an actual business plan ready so you can show to a bank or private institution for asking for financing or investing in private investors. So there's a whole bunch of, there are so many incubators in Toronto, in the core district, that's where I'm at right now. Um, for uh, creatives, um, tech especially, um, fashion, I was part of the fashion incubator program. Um, I'm in the startup tech program right now, I was in the biz start program, business in the streets program, the YCBO program. So if you want to know what's available, and if you feel like you, you can deal with that kind of stress of working for self, because it is a lonely venture, but if you have teammates or you want to build that out, it's better working in a group, honestly, because it keeps you it's your choice. If you, uh, I recommend it, uh, take advantage of your strong end name for getting tax return benefits. But you can always, um, you know, uh, file it as uh, your proper title. But when you do the behind the scenes corporation registration, you can uh, literally assign yourself as a director for your corporation. Uh, like for me, I have uh, my straw man as a director, and I have me as a director. So I override that uh, entity, but the entity, they know, they deal with my straw man, but when I go and deal with them publicly, they know what's up, because I put it in, in the in record. The actual record. Yeah, and I, uh, I can tell you guys how I did that, but it's honestly um, why, why you're starting a business. Like some people I know, they're really good at making pottery, and they don't know how to market it, so their problem is different from someone else that wants to come together and create a music uh, <coughs> cultural community center, which is a whole different scope of project budgeting. 
both are possible. It's just, are you honest to yourself about what, what you're doing? Because if it's just about the money, go into investing or cryptocurrency, because that's the fastest way. But if you're doing it for a passion, for purpose, then it's, first of all, it's marketable. People will believe in the story and something that you believe in. And uh, there's a lot of, you know, $3,500 grants, $5,000 grants, and a lot of uh, competitions available in Toronto now for uh, certain types of industries. So, you know, think about, you know, self. Like, what do you have to offer to the world in exchange for your uh, energy? But yeah, that's a good question. Any other comments, questions? Um, Brother Navi Bay sent um, a book reference. Um, the Khazar conversion. Um, it all boils down to this. The Askan Azim have no practice or historical origin in Palestine at all. They are descendants of Russian tribesmen who were converted to Judaism about 740 AD. Because of political convenience, these tribesmen, or these step, S-T-E-P-P-E, -E, these steppe, step tribesmen, were known as Khazars. The word Cossack probably derives from their name. All right, going back to um, the so-called origins of the people who classify themselves as Jews. And are not. Chosen people from the caucus. Most of what we Gentiles in North America consider to be Jewish is most of what even the Ashkenazi immigrants to North America consider to be Jewish is not Jewish at all. It is all Khazar. Our present concern rests with the outlook of these Khazars who adopted Judaism some 1300 years ago and with their descendants, the Jews or Ashkenazim of today. I think he's just, he just on the phone outside. They originated in the Caucasus and the steppes to the immediate north, or at least Judaism found them there. <laughs> And as such people, they can, they can be presumed to have reflected strongly Neanderthal characteristics. They originated in the area of strongly lingering Neanderthal physical traits. Late Neanderthal sites discovered by modern archaeologists abound in the old Khazar heartland. <laughs> Our modern word slave comes from the medieval Latin sclavus, word for slav. Slavs and slaves were once the same thing, or so closely associated that the two designations merge. This can only be explained by the fact that Slavic people were introduced into the Latin Muslim world as object sources of labor. In large scale numbers, that the idea of Slav and slave became equated. And those two words are still equated in all the European languages of the West. The only people with ready access to Slavs as captives were Khazars. And it is from the time of the Khazar steppe empire that we record the influx of such captives as slaves. They were, brought by, they were bought by both Christian Byzantines and by Muslim Arabs, but used for the same purpose, human labor until death. This was nothing new. Everyone had used human beings in this way from time immemorial. But it is, to no, but it is noteworthy that the influx of this labor material was so strong only during Khazar times that the human labor material was named according to its source. Slavs. 
and early Khazars, according to our present understanding of Eastern European history, had access to and ready markets for such human captives in numbers large enough to equate the word slave with Slav. So we had um a brother sent me um a comment from Richard Neil Bay. Islam more, great brother, talking about myself, but he is better off just rapping and doing lectures. He is not with any group or body of Moors, so he isn't a sheik of the MST of A, Divine and National Movement, in subordination, but the music is real. So, keep in mind... <laughs> Somebody who acknowledges something legit, but then talks negative about the same stuff that they were just acknowledging, that's called a turncoat. Mm -hmm. That's called a backstabber. Because it's interesting for this individual to say that I'm not a sheik when he was there when I went through that chamber. It's interesting that he's going to say, I'm not a sheik, but his brother, who's in prison right now, right, we went to check, me and him, and some other Moors, went to go check his brother that's in prison, right, on the strength that I'm a sheik, so I can go see his brother, right, um, it's also interesting that this individual saying that I'm not a sheik is down with people who used to sell charters. Morris Science Temple of America charters like we got right up there. They used to sell those for 250 to people who wanted to a charter for Morris Science Temple. Wow. But I'm dirt. Right? These are, and again, goes back to Juali, right? They're going to be trying every week mining to try to drag out the true foundation that has been laid. These are the same people that are going to talk BS about RV Bay and, and um, Taj Tree Bay and all that. But when we went to North Carolina, they were there. See, the same guy was there with a table and the same lecture that we were at with Taj or whatever. Nothing to say. Zero <laughs> words. Master teacher's right over there. <laughs> this man named uh, Richard Neil Bay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, from what I see online, there is a big attack going on right now. Huh? Yeah, yeah. From what I see online on Facebook, whatever, there's a big attack going on. Yeah. It's like hacked up even ten times harder. No? I'm not sure cool yeah. off on Facebook now, no? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why. That's exactly why. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. The cats, when the cats are away, the mice will play. You know? Right? And they're playing right now. Hard. Right? Good um, My question is about like creating a trust and how, 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 how could you put like your, your vehicle or like yeah, basically how to create a trust and how you can put your vehicle in that trust. The black laws are under somewhere. Somebody so got the their black, black ones. Uh, check the trust. 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 Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yourself to the Confidence, the confidence reposed in one person who is termed trustee for the benefit of another who is called the Sestui Qui Trust, Sestui Trust, um, respecting property which is held by the trustee for the benefit of the Sestui Qui Trust. Then there's another um, case law. Um, any arrangement whereby property is transferred with intention that it be administered by trustee for another's benefit. Um, continue, should I go on? Yeah. Um, a fiduciary, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a, a fiduciary relation with respect to property, subjecting person by whom the property is held to equitable duties to deal with the property for the benefit of another person which arises as the result of a manifestation of an intention to create it. And then there's another case law. It continues, an obligation on a person arising out of the confidence reposed in him to apply property faithfully and according to such confidence. Um, as being in nature of deposition by which proprietor transfers to another property of subject entrusted. Not that it should remain with him, but that it should be applied to certain uses for the behoof of third party. Um, then another case law, and then it says a trust can be created for any purpose which is not illegal and which is not against public policy. Um, case law. Um, lastly, um, essential elements of trust are designated beneficiary and trustee fund sufficiently identifiable to enable title to pass to trustee and actual delivery to trustee with intention of passing title and then city bank of trust case law and then there's different types of arrest and um what you got there in north for um trust uh, trust uh one reliance on the integrity strength ability certainty etc of a person or a thing confidence Two, confident expectation of something, uh, hope. Three, confidence in the certainty of future payment for property or goods received, credit, to sell merchandise on trust. Uh, four, on, on one who, one on whom or that on which one relies, uh, God is my trust. Five, the condition of one, who, one to whom something has been entrusted. Six, the obligation or responsibility obligation or responsibility imposed on one in whom confidence or authority is placed. Authority is placed, yeah. Uh, position of trust. Uh, seven, charge, custody, care to to leave valuables in someone's trust. Then I can go ahead. Yes. More, more, there's more. A couple more, yeah. Uh, uh, a something something committed or entrusted to one's care for use of safe safekeeping as an office duty or the like responsibility charge nine law of fund of fund fiduciary uh, yeah relationship in which one person uh bracket the trustee holds the title to property the trust estate or trust property. For the benefit or or of another, the beneficiary, and then there's ten, an illegal combination of industrial or commercial com companies in which the stock of the constitute constitute companies is controlled by a central board of trustees, thus making it possible to manage the companies so as so as to minimize production costs, control prices, destroy competition, etc. Alright, that's straight. Alright, so 
what um, so what we want to do when we're talking about this this concept that's floating around right now right what we want to do is this side being mastered before you get to the side of the document. Okay. Right? So, before you have the document, right, integrity has to be standard. Confidence. Um, certainty. So that by the time you get to here, right, this part is what this is all about. The whole idea of, you know, because if, if, you, if you've been um, following the um, subject matter, of trust, right? This is how you know that that the studying level is away from and is here, right? It's only because people have seen this in talk through the baby videos why they're even talking about this. They're not talking about this because they are like how we say um um. We're not Negro, Black, Colored, we're Morris. That's because of somebody's self. They came to that realization. That's why they talk like that. But when you hear people talking about this, it's because they seen this. This is, is, um, this is a hot topic. Right? But hot topics don't mean that it equates here. Because people get people are getting away from go to the library, go study. You don't need a video of trust to, to know what trust is. Just look up trust. And then if when you look it up and it's and it's still not there, then it means that you have to obviously go deeper. Because it's gonna be on the individual what they do with this. So in in if we wanna talk like if you wanna talk like Negroes. A trust the only difference is that with the will somebody's not here anymore with the trust they're still alive and really what it is is the right of the property <coughs> books car house whatever whatever in safekeeping for somebody later, which is why they start going into fiduciaries and trustees and beneficiaries and all that stuff, which is really what the trust is about, really. So people have the mentality of, of um, um, well, I'm going to put my whatever in a trust. Well, if you're putting in a trust, it's not for you to have access. You're locking yourself out when you put it in the trust. Because it's not for you to use anymore. It's for the beneficiaries to have access to. So really the only thing that should be going in trust is things that you're actually going to be passing to the next generation. And then this is why when you hear... Um, so this is the... This is the, the, the um, intelligence factor that we lack. How, do, when, when we, when, the way we see this play out and don't recognize what's going on is when they have um, some European or whatever um, their, their child dies. And then they say, oh yeah, um, our child died of cancer or whatever, we're starting up the Johns Henry's Trust and we want people to donate to the trust because we're going to help cancer research or whatever like that, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then everybody puts their finance to that. It's not going to the parents or whatever, but all the finance that they put is going toward whatever is entrusted for it to go to. But it can't go to personal whatever. It has to go for beneficiary. So, so you know, people who might benefit from um, all this finance going to cancer research are the beneficiaries. Even though we know all you do is put them on an alkaline diet, clear their cancer tomorrow. Right? So that's how they've been using it. How we're supposed to use it is this is the, you could also put Right? That's really what a truss is. The safe with the combination that's under the whatever, that when, you know what I mean, little man gets old or whatever like that, like, my dad gave me this pendant or whatever like that, and I don't know what this means, and then he puts it on the thing, and then the wall freaking opens up. <laughs> and then you realize that, oh, that's what this thing is for. <laughs> and Bin had this forever. Didn't even know. Until the, right, remember the integrity, you know, because then you realize, oh, damn. The ancestors were on the science. They set it up like that. Ever since I was a baby on the lap, he put this thing on my neck or whatever. Yeah, eventually you're going to know exactly what this is about, but don't worry, not yet. You know what I mean? And all that stuff. How do you think all these Europeans got away with this idea of, well, we don't have nothing to do with slavery, that has nothing to do with me or whatever, because everything that they got out of slavery, what do they do with it? Put it in trust. So it's not them. After they long and gone, 500 years, they haven't been here or whatever. But their ancestors, they're still eating off the stuff that was in trust 500 years ago. Right? So yes, it is a document. Yes, you can create a trust. Right? But if you are going to create a trust, know that it's not for your usage. So if you still want to use the stuff, don't put the stuff in a trust. Because it's supposed to be for others that's coming behind. You know for a fact that your car ain't going to your son or whatever when he grows up, right? But now we get into even the broader aspect of trust now, that what, if we're talking about the whole thing about the property being entrusted, right? Really where, where you're going is taking the trust, taking the property, right? The right of the property, which is yours, mm -hmm. right? Because it's your property, so you have a right to it to use it or whatever. And taking that and putting it in a concept of trust that only you have the right to it. Because what has happened is that the right of the property falls on who you registered it with. So, like, for example, like taking the bill of sale. Right. And then putting that into some form of trust right. instead of the instead of vehicle ownership. Instead of the registration that, I got part from them. that you got from them. Right. So don't right. attach so, anything right. that they gave me. To, to what they gave you. Right. right? Okay. Which, is, which is why, and then they set it up for you, right? Because when you, when you quote unquote sell, right? Mm -hmm. When you sell it, you put where it's going on the back. Right. Buyer. No, no, no. The, the buyer, the buyer is yeah. supposed to sign the back of the of the ministry's version of the, the ministry's ownership. version. But your your the seller version signs you one side, and then the buyer sells right. the next. So you're the seller and the buyer. Okay. If that's yours, right. And you put it in their thing under the guise that oh yeah, they're the government. So I'm just gonna do it and then get my registration. Now I own my car because I have a registration. No, right. they own it. Yeah. But being that. The name on it is probably not your name, right? right? The seller. Mm -hmm. LB, maybe the buyer. LB fills the back okay. out, 
And instead of LB taking this back to the ministry or whatever, you take that and put that in, you know, Morris Science Temple's name. Or, you know, some Aboriginal, Indigenous, religious, whatever, where these people can't even, they wouldn't even think about going there to go deal with it because it's outside their jurisdiction, that's, that's yeah. not the real registration, whatever, right? That's the idea of what I'm trying to do. That's, that's what, yeah. yeah, right? So that's where it's going with, um, you know, um, the idea of having our own plates and having our own whatever mm -hmm. is based on the property transferring from that jurisdiction our into own. our own jurisdiction right. where now because it's on our jurisdiction we have to give it insurance mm -hmm. we have to give it plates we have to give the person behind the wheel a license or a whatever for them to exercise using it and then the only issue we're gonna have is how are they gonna take it when we start we have our own stuff. We don't need them anymore, right? And then you look at, you know, the, the multitudes, you know, because we already know people are deaf, dumb, blind, or whatever like that. You know, when we had our own place, it wasn't like people were running off like, oh my gosh, how do you do that or whatever. They don't care. They got their, they pay their tickets. They do what they do, right? This is something specific to <laughs> people who are on on this plane, right. just like people who are on the who are on the mentality of of um, red license plates, they don't have white ones. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. Nobody doesn't go ask them or whatever, hey, how do you guys get the red ones? We got white ones. How come your letters are black and my letters are blue and all that stuff? Yeah. It doesn't even matter, right? What about the Democrat plates, right? I think the blue are the Democrat plates. The Democrat plates, right? And then I see some plates don't even have um, stickers on them, like, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so yeah. why, like, no, yeah. that's what all the, and that's the, that's the, you know, like, so, so, and, and that's the thing with the, with the black letters and the blue letters and whatever like that, because the corporate vehicle, because it was initially deal with commerce, plates, initially dealt with commerce, everybody's plate was black at one time. Then they started implementing the blue plates, right? Because they, they because it, you know they couldn't keep track of everybody uh, of everybody in, in that thing because some people weren't engaged in commerce. Yeah. Some people just you know they were just driving A to B, yeah. right? Um, yeah. So the whole idea is is taking the property, right? Selling it to myself and my sell it to status. yourself. In your proper status, having a bill of sale and all that stuff, right? Once we get it to the level, mm -hmm. it's really about putting, because you're still going to be using it, mm -hmm. so it's about putting it in the temple's name, mm -hmm. which is religious, mm -hmm. which these people, they can't touch, touch that, because yeah. you have religious right to whatever. I get it. Right? Okay. But again, you know, if we had licenses for 50 years, then 51st year, you know, we got plates, <laughs> the Morris plates and whatever. Don't think these people are going to go, oh yeah, you guys have their own plates, they can do whatever they want or whatever. They're going to try to regulate. You know what I mean? And it's having, it's having the things in place that way. As soon as they, you know, but, oh sorry, you know, we don't do licenses, we do right to travel cards. All right, All right well that knocks that out because we already have Lonry's case that we have two pieces of ID, picture, address match, you know, I've been asking for license. Forget license. So, all right, so that's covered. We identified ourselves, right? Next thing is the ownership. Oh, well, here's the bill of sale. I'll show you that this is my property. In the free national name, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Right? And then, yeah, and then we already know that the insurance one is really where that's they try to bait, right? Because that's the big, the big boy ticket, right? And then we have... Some type of documentation, paper, or whatever, stating that you know he is putting finance towards his, you insurance know, insurance. whatever assurance, insurance, whatever like that. Moorish Insurance Company. We give you a blue slip. That's your stuff according to how our customs are, because this is who we are. Yeah, tires. Yeah, winter tires and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Wipers work. No stuff, all the rides safe, you know, here's the, here's the, um, um, what do you call it?
about emissions and whatever. There's the safety and all that stuff. Just to let you know that everything is legit. So what's the what's the issue? Yeah, you know. Oh, the issue is that we can't be self autonomous. Because these people need slaves. And their job that, because that's what that's how their system works. And and again, they're giving us uh, they're giving us lots of credit because they're gonna sh they're gonna pressure us under the guise that we're gonna influence people to leave their stuff and come do ours when nobody, ain't nobody gonna leave them. <laughs> Don't worry. You got the Negroes. Don't worry. Just leave the Moors or just deal with the Moors differently than you do with the Negroes. That's all we're saying. You know what I mean? We don't need acknowledgement. We don't need it in the paper. We don't need anything. All we need is when you see our stuff, you already know, oh, those that, we're not even going to bother those guys, right? You know, and then again, it's also going to be on the part of the Moors that they're doing stuff right and exactly. True. That's you know what I mean? That's the most definite. That's the most, which goes back again to the whole thing of the integrity. Yeah, for real. Because if we're saying trust, then we're saying all these things. Temple's going to be safe keeping your stuff under the right to religion, right? The custody of the quote-unquote property, the care is going to be on the temple to protect it, right? The due care is going to be on the individual behind the wheel that has these plates, that has no obligation to these people to make sure that they're doing stuff right, exact, you know what I mean? Not, you know, um, not baiting their self up to get drawn down, to have to go through the process of give them the stuff and give them the whatever. Shouldn't be anything, you know what I mean? And we know, you know, people with plates run lights and stuff like that. It ain't like, you know, you know, we're sitting there, well, you know, three in the morning and there's lights are red and we're just going to wait here until right. the yeah, light changes. And every time the light changes, it goes back to the walking sign and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go through the light, you know what I mean? Right? Um, Tess, you had something? Um, yeah, and then uh, the, the important thing, too, is like um, there's things in the trust that are in the trust and then there's the corpus of the trust which is the thing that the specific thing or things that are being handed down which is why you're even able to put things like a vehicle or perishable things in a trust the person your child your child's not going to get the vehicle but what you're doing is you're using the vehicle mm -hmm. in order to safe keep the um you know the jewel the right. or the right which is Ultimately, the vast estate, which is your right to your to your nationality on the land. So, <clears throat> when it comes to um, to uh, you know the the thing the thing that's being entrusted, you have to know that you as a trustee you have a ob you have a um, a right to use certain things in order to safeguard other things, right? So. So it's not the assumption that the vehicle now is the thing you're, pa you're passing down. Because if you think that, then anybody who knows trust law is going to look at you like you don't know what you're talking about. Right? In reality, in, once you put in the Moorish Science Temple, Juali already has the trust body set up. He already has the beneficiary set up. So all you have to do now is be um, a responsible trustee. And you can put anything in there. Because the thing that is being handed down is legit. It's not something that anybody's going to argue with. Right? It's your vast estate. Um create you just create that. So so whoever you you um, purchase whatever from, right? You and them would have, you know, name, date that it was saying, um, both people signing it, the cost of it, what the condition of it was. The, person, um, the description of it. The description of it. Yeah. You know, the same the things that would be in our quote unquote yeah. ownership, you would put in um, the bill of sale. Ownership. And then the bill of sale would be your proof of ownership, not the registration that papers or whatever. That Even they, though that I have like, their license plates? Yeah, because if, if you go and get it privately, mm -hmm. what he's talking about is what has to be done them between prior. you and the person. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with, with them. It's only, the, the only way that they come in is because of the license, the, all these, these you know, money-making schemes that 
that they're setting up in order for them to have possession or have the right of property because that's what they're doing when they when they when they um, give you the ownership that's the receipt that they put your car in their trust mm -hmm. Cause they got their own trust that they're dealing with right the birth certificate the recent receipt that your child's in their trust the social is <laughs> Certificate that all the finance that you make under that number is going in their trust. The um, passport is the that that you're part of their trust, which is why you can show this passport and go anywhere that you want because on the strength of Canada giving you that passport, why you can go do whatever. Right? So with my bill of sale, I could bring that to the ministry and get a plate. No, no they ain't gonna, they're, 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 they're going to take they're the bill of sale and give you ownership. Yeah, exactly. And then that ownership will use them to get the pleats and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. right? Because remember that, that you know, it's, it's, the, it's the same thing that we're talking about with the job, mm -hmm. that our, our pattern has been go to them. Because we've never dealt with our, we've never dealt with ourselves. Right? We've never, you know, bought a, bought a car, vehicle, whatever. And went to our own nation and got our plates right. and our ownership and our whatever from our own. Mm -hmm. We always deal with them. And just because we have to deal with them, right, you know, which is where it comes in, you know, reserving your rights and making sure that, you know, you, if you're not going to go complete in your full national position, that you reserve your rights when you deal with these people. So if anything comes up, you know what I mean? For example, you have the plates or whatever, you have the license or whatever, it doesn't mean that when you get stopped, you can't give them nationality card. Mm -hmm. mm. Right? Anybody Still else got? you at the time, you're not doing commerce at that time. And that too. Right? Cause, because the driving implies that you're getting finance mm -hmm. for being behind the wheel. But if you're not getting financed for being behind the wheel, if, if, you're, if you're just going from A to B, that's why you're behind the wheel. And all you're doing is going from this light to the light at Q. You don't need a license for that. Exactly. Like, well, what am I doing that I need a license to go from this light to that light? And then just extend the boundaries. Why do I need a license to go over to Brampton? What does that have to do with making finance or making money or whatever. Zero, nothing. Right? Um, Brother Hoody had something for me. Yes. Uh, what about, uh, I've noticed um, there's, like, there's been like private banks, like uh, I've noticed there's been like RBC out like near Aurora, near Aurora and they have like, uh, they, they set up from, from what I remember, it's like testamentary trust. Mm. Um, setting up those trusts is it is, uh, is it is it is it recognizable to do it in your in your in your in your as yourself in your with your true name, you know. Um, once you reserve your rights. Because what I've seen is basically, if you could, if you can state your will and your intent, and um, as as the more may mention, you're operating to commit towards the cause, which is within your birthrights, and you're reserving those rights. Then um, I don't see why not. But one thing I do remember was when I was looking on into the past, he did say I need a lawyer. Who's that? Uh, the number, of the, like the. Uh, what, the the, the, back, the yeah, bank kind of, or yeah, yeah, like because the, they're because they're working with they're working with the other side. He also said if I'm not a lawyer, at least some court document, um, kind of like acknowledging. Acknowledge, but then acknowledge what though? The trust or to acknowledge yourself? Like, in a way, like I have the right to open up that trust or something like that. Yeah. So, so that could be that could be things like, um, um, you know, like we're saying with CRA, 
So the bank industry would have their own rules, codes, whatever like that, that you would have to abide by if you're going to them. Because remember, this is the whole the whole thing is about not going to them. Right. The whole thing is about us being self sufficient and we deal with it. Right? Just like with with um um get get in a, a accident, right? Whoever and whoever had the accident is the only people that should be engaging in conversation. Right. Nobody else shouldn't even be involved with it because it's between these two entities, right? If if we're saying anything relative to trust, it's between the trustee and the beneficiaries. You know, lawyer, you know, anybody else in between trying to get in on the game. They don't have nothing to do with it really like that, right? So, so again, like. We can, we can talk trust, but if we're talking trust, it, it's not going to be dealing with those people, whether they're a bank, a ministry or whatever, or whoever, that's not what we're dealing with. We're going to prep the document ourselves, right? And then we'll have our own people be the witnesses, because we don't need to have a lawyer right. to, be, to be our witness. As far as we're Mars, we, we need a lawyer to say, oh yeah, we're going to recognize this paper or whatever. We recognize our own paper, right? I mean? yeah. um, so I understand like how it works with like like vehicle and property like trust. So now let's say um, I register and create a business, right? Mm. Do I take the same registration I got from the government and put it in a trust within the temple? Does it work that way as well? You you would just you would just not register. The business? The business. Okay, so you're into them now, you're going into this. You just put it straight right. to you would, you, would just, you would just exercise as the business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever the, whatever the business is. But again, we, you're dealing with, you know, we haven't, we, the pattern has been go register right, the business. Right, right, right. So, you know what I mean? Right, I so, agree. that's what they're expecting. Mm -hmm. If they say business, they're expecting you to have registration number of whatever happened because, you know, that's how stuff normally is done. Right? But it might not be that for you. You might just have your own permit. You make your own your own stuff. My business is called this. Right. This is the model of the business. This is the whatever of the business. This is how I'm qualified. I've been doing it five years, ten years, twenty years. I went to this school, that school, whatever, whatever. Here's the business. And I'm just putting you on notice that this business is going to be doing business in this jurisdiction. And then that's it them just being put on notice and then you exercise your business. Because remember, you're doing you're doing it from, if you got L Bay, you're doing it from Aboriginal Indigenous perspective, right. which means that that's your culture. Mm -hmm. It's not really business like that. You know what I mean? It's more a cultural thing that you're opening to everybody else so they can have access to your services. culture, your services that you provide based on your culture as Aboriginal Indigenous. Right? Even though it's a business and you're taking finance or you're providing a service or whatever. Oh no, this is part of this is part of my culture. You know what I mean? You know, I don't need to get a um permission uh, permission slip to exercise my culture. Right? So again, it goes back to that thing of you know making sure that the things that we're like what the brother was saying, make sure the things that we're doing are in tune with who what our purpose is for us to do as this thing that's supposed to be lucrative, that's why you go into your own business so you can be successful, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? It's not going to be, you know, um, um, you know, you're going to start the business, to, to you're registered a business to sell Cody boxes. You know what I mean? Because there's people who aren't registered selling those. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? Right, but if you know, but you know the guy who all the stuff fell off the truck or whatever, you're not gonna be registering that. <laughs> you're just gonna say, yo, you know what I mean? Size nines, I got 50 size nines. You know what I mean? Ten bucks each or whatever. Right? And whoever wants it, they'll 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 pay. You know? Yes, sir. And you said put them on notice so that they know that you have a business in the jurisdiction or whatever. Who are you putting on notice? 
So any anybody that anybody that if there's any type of um regulatory people, so if you're if you're saying um let's say you're saying masseuse, mm -hmm. right? Whoever deals with masseuse jurisdiction, as far as registering the business or or or, or um, qualified to be a whatever or you know um, some type of code that masseuse have to follow. You know you can't you have to you know people have to be clothed in the stuff or whatever like that. Whatever it is, all them people. You know anybody who you would um, think is is tied to the government relative to what it is business you're doing. But do you think that's mandatory to put them on the list? Yeah, oh yeah. If you're not going to register, yeah. Yeah. You mean registering like that old like going to yeah, like going down to three seventy five university and fill out the form, get the thing or whatever like that. Like for example, like with us, we register, right? But in in the registration there's a stipulation that you can create your own whatever you're gonna do. Or you can have us govern you. And then we'll let you know when to do this and we'll call you and see if whatever like that. So we said, no, we'll do our own thing. We don't need you guys. All we need to do is get this number. So, you know, if people have donations, whatever like that, we can tell them, oh yeah, it's going to something that's registered because that's what people recognize. Right? But you want, but you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, it's, it's documented how it is that you're going to do it. Right? One page is two pages. Shouldn't be more than 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 a five pages. You know what I mean? What it is that you're doing. You have your flags on the top, you have the title of it, you have the description, what the business is, where it's gonna be doing, you know, whether it's gonna be a local place people are gonna come to or this is a traveling thing where you go to different whatever. You know what I mean? Put it in writing, sign it, put these people on notice. Let them know this is what this is what I'm going to be doing. So when you see this name, Shades, whatever, know that it's from an Aboriginal Indigenous perspective, right? All that stuff's going to be in there. You're going to go through all the UN stuff. You're going to pull out all the things having to do with you can exercise your culture. And that these people can't even say anything about it because they signed on to everything having to do with respecting Aboriginal people's rights. They just came up with their truth and reconciliation. And then now in all the high schools, they're talking about the Toronto Purchase and how Toronto got this land and stuff before they played the national anthem, which made them lose the land. Mm. You know exactly what they're doing, right? It's just that, you know, we've been so stagnated, so passive. We've been so Negro black colored that when we start exercising like we know what we're talking about, they're going to be a little skeptical. Because you're new to this. Like, what do you mean? You, you're Moors and you got trust and stuff like that. Spell trust. Yeah. You can read. You guys can't read. You're Negro. You know what I mean? You know. Quick, quick question. Um, I remember. Oh, man. Found something. <laughs> I remember um, at Nobu Jualide, they, um, you, sh you showed us the, I guess it was the, the I don't know. I don't. I don't want to call it a declaration, but it was. It was a letter um, of John Tory basically recognizing right, Aboriginal right, right, Indigenous yeah. peoples. I, was it a week that they were celebrating, or they were just recognizing the people? Um, it was. Um, it was a day. Okay. Um, yeah. What day is that? Um, June twenty first. June twenty first. And when did he? Um, two thousand seventeen. Oh, so that was this year. Yeah. Okay, last, last, last year. year yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. remember the Chicago mayor did his piece already. Yeah, since so from London. Yeah. yeah, so now they're yeah. doing their stuff. So you know what's ironic about that? It's just catch up. Um, mm -hmm. I was I was on Arvin Bay maybe a week before Drew Ali Day, right? Yeah. And I was looking up and I was looking at all the other cities that that signed on to it, right? And I'm like, so wait, how come we don't have ours yet? You know what I'm thinking? I was gonna and I was gonna send you a text and, and yeah. talk to you about it. And then I show up at Nobu Juali then, yeah, yeah. like, you know? Yeah. Probably is ahead of you, boy. So you said, yeah, we got him. I need a copy of that, though. Yeah, yeah, actually, we're going to send it out. I actually yeah. forgot. I actually forgot. 
That's what we're going we're gonna to send it out so that the mourners have it. And, you know, feel free to use it however you see fit because they're letting us know that, that they acknowledge the Aboriginal Indigenous people. So we fall under that. So. Also, I also want to add to that they also <coughs> heard this is on the radio, so it's not like some big secret um, mm -hmm. that new people that are coming into so-called Canada, right. part of their soaring in when they become a citizen, All right. part of their soaring in, like they're, they're going to add this to their whatever they say that that they have to basically. I'm just kind of paraphrasing it. They have to respect and honor indigenous people when they come to be a Canadian citizen. Oh, okay. So that, so basically now, regular people now could be liable for violation where you could stand on that to say, well, I mean, as a suit or anything like that, you know what I mean, or to exercise against them in a say, lawful way. Okay. And, and, and the only issue, the only issue that we might have is if they play the whole thing of Diverse. the registered Canadian Indians yeah. are the ones this applies to, GI. not the non-status. <laughs> oh yeah, the GI, the GI, GI Indians, <laughs> government issued Indians. Wow. Right? Well, they were Pacific, so that means if they're not Pacific, yeah. then they can't be. Because then that gives us reason to dispute exactly. that. Like, right. how are you leaving us out? Right. Because yeah, exactly. you and Drip didn't leave us out. Right. You know? No, they're, they're but, but Pacific, that, so, but, but they're not really talking about, I mean, like, in the, like, in the, like, at the face of it, when it comes to it, like, to try to trick you, because that's what they do, they, they play the, the game, right? They can say, well, it's best meant for whoever, like, the so-called Indians, or the Indians, then but realistically, it's really for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really for us. But they don't want to But they know that it's right. not like that. on that. We know that the mass is not really on that. Because the mass is thinking Africans, so... At the same time, they didn't, they didn't say um, Native Canadian. Right. No, they didn't no. They don't say it. And so they so didn't say more either. either. Is that they really? didn't, it's to pressure them? That's why sometimes uh, in the store... You know, well, I guess there's no need to pressure them because we know that they That's still an acknowledgement. Yeah. And it is yeah. an It's us we're talking about. No matter how they want to put it on the surface, Yeah. But behind the, the scenes, the, the underline, they're talking us. some more. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, in this tour, too, some of these European, they understood. Yeah, they when you try to explain to them, they say that young girls in this tour tell me that, too. But it, you're right, it doesn't make sense. You can't be, if you've been native, yeah. you're going to be native alone long right. before I come here. Right. Mm -hmm. How could you be right. native and Canadian right. together? And again, it goes back to, it goes back to that same thing that, um, you know, they've had this thing going of who the natives are, mm -hmm. right? Anyway, Eskimo, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The guy with the yeah. fur or whatever like that, he got the spear and all that stuff, mm -hmm. that guy's the native. Mm -hmm. But, but then the when they start, mm -hmm. you know, getting into the truth of it, yeah. they can't really, they can't really come out really, you know, so they'll do their little indigenous, aboriginal, whatever like that, because they know that people aren't really going to register who they're talking about. Right. They're going to think they mean the Eskimos and the Inuit and the people who are the First Nations of Canada and all that stuff. They're not talking about them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's why this girl in this story, she understood now when I explained to her who I am. Yeah. So don't get me mixed up. Right, mixed up with, 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 with the other because so we she, look in like... In the end though, she realized that I'm the real one then because you're not sharing more Canadian, like right. you know, Moorish Canadian. Right, 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 right. No, right, no, right. no attachment. Right. To the yeah. right. No attachment to the corporate. Right. And you, we, see, we, you see how they understand? Yeah. And my people will never get it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. You can't really understand me. Yeah. Right. They do? She didn't understand me. She disrespected me. Some of them. The Indian man who was in the office when I'm like, I'm indigenous, he's dark like him. And he put his head down. Yeah, and he wouldn't even look up at me like, yeah. and he's a manager. But again, this is but keep, right. keep in mind, right? Keep in mind that this, this this is why this is why when when we when we deal with exercising our rights, right? It's about what Raleigh said of us being what we know. So we can't we can't be talking rights but looking like Negroes. They're going to be like, I was nah, actually wearing a turban. Like, I don't know, really, or whatever like that, because it might not really be, 
right? Because remember that those people from that aren't from here. Mm -hmm. When yeah, they come yeah. here, yep. they get told, yep. do not talk to the Negroes. Trust I don't me. care who else you talk to. When it comes to Negroes, don't talk to them. All they do is rob people, kill people, stab people, stab their self, burn their stuff down. You don't want to engage those people. This is what they're told before they come over here. And don't forget what they see on TV too, right? They all, in, all these like Cauc Caucasian go up, not even encountering certain Negroes, right? More is like whatever, right? And they see so plain, and then you go to certain places and like, yo, you see so plain? Or my brother was telling me one time you tell you went to British Columbia amongst the, uh, the Eskimos looking, right? And when we went by them, he had locks and things, and they're like, yo, sing Bob Marley, sing Bob Marley. So that's, that's all they yeah. see, right? Yeah. So It's like, Bob Marley. <laughs> Barbados. Yeah, but like I say, the, the the oldest standing treaty between any two nations is between the Moorish Empire and the British Empire. That's a fact. Anybody could look that up. You understand? And when you're here in Canaan land, you're in Morocco. There is no other de jure yeah. jurisdiction here. Yeah. In the United States, you're in the United States proper, but when you're here, you're just in Morocco. It's the freest place on earth. So their, their whole thing is not to acknowledge that. Yeah. So if anybody's going to acknowledge it, it's going to be the British. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be people who look like who British are or, here or who are, are here and it doesn't matter where they come from. If they're here, forget about them. You want to pressure somebody, pressure the British, like directly. Don't even, don't even worry about the Governor General because that's fraud too. Right? Send something to the British. See, see what see response you get from the British people. Because British people aren't going to argue with you about who you are. I can tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. They're not going to sit there and argue with you with the way people here argue with you. They're not, they're not going to do that. Well, there is a treaty of... Uh, British. It's from 1200. They, from Queen, the first Queen Elizabeth said to herself, Wait a second. The only way we're going to be able to travel the world with our ships and do commerce is if we make a treaty with one of these th three Barbary states that has control over the Mediterranean and therefore the whole Atlantic Ocean. So they went and they started a relationship with the Sultan of Morocco from 1200 AD. And that, tr that relationship has not broken since 1200 AD. People who know history know this. So when you know yourself, you're talking about more history and you're more and more science, to be dealing with, to be going to Canada now, some little come lately, you know, corporation, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of your time, personally, yeah. when you are already part of something that's 800 years old. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's honored here, right? The only, the only empire that was at peace with the United States and the British at the same time, even while they're fighting a war amongst themselves, mm -hmm. this empire was able to say, yeah, I support both of you guys. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, do your yeah, thing. Right. So these are the things that, you know, when you do your, your, your due diligence, you realize what's really going on. For real. Islam. Well, and there's also another treaty that I was talking about. I couldn't remember the name. It's called the Treaty of Jeddah, no. which is between um, the Sultan of Morocco, mm. but it's it, like the jurisdiction, it says the Malinistry King. Of, um, I guess the jurisdiction is H E J A Z and and of N E D N E J D. Okay, so that's between British Britain and them. But we know the salt, the same salt that's in the the Quran. Yeah. Right. I can't remember exactly his, his name is, mm -hmm. but it's the same um, Sultan that's the salt of Morocco. The same treaty they have with Britain, so I've used that treaty, send it with my writ as well. Yeah. Because it, uh, one of the acts of it, or one of the um, one of the um, the act of it, uh, I'll read what it says. Here. It says, um, it says it basically says that the any Muslims that we have to respect any Muslims and protect 
their rights and stuff like that. In one of the points of view. Yeah. In the Quran? Oh, we're going to the king. Yeah, the king. Oh, I know. Yeah. It, says, yeah. it says Muslim specifically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you know when they say Muslim, yeah. they're talking about... Not M-U. Exactly. M-U. Yeah. So yeah. Canada's not in that treaty. But Canada is an ally with Great Britain, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Right, so how can... Now your ally come, somebody's ally, right, oppress you if, when, 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 you, have when you have a treaty with their, with their allies, with the boss. With the boss. Yeah. That's who you're supposed to, it's like, it's like whenever you're in trouble or whenever you have an issue, right, when you get dropped down, who's the person you really want to interact with? The supervisor. Right. Okay. And, we're, and by going to Canada, it's like we're going to, to, to the rookie. The highway, man. Yeah. Hi, rookie, off, oh, arguing with the rookie and try. How, am I, how can I beat down the rookie? He's a rookie, who cares? Yeah. Where's the supervisor? Supervisor is Great Britain. Okay. So it's, like it's better to give the confirmation and arrest to the Great Britain stuff? Britain Not that there's anything that they necessarily could do because they've ceded the land. They said, okay, you guys run it. You, you gangsters, you run it. Yeah, but when you go to court, it says Regina on it versus whoever. Okay, courts. Yeah, court. That's a that's a that's another situation where. Regina. If you, yeah, Regina that's. Regina's the looking at, right? where she, yeah, she where is she? Where's the representative of yeah. Britain? Where's Senator, the representative? Senator Regina. <laughs> <laughs> but I was always under the impression that the Attorney General was the representative of Regina. Queen. You know, Stop what I'm saying? Yeah, he is. Yeah, but he's the facto. And I and I was always under the impression that he's for the office. Of capital C lowercase N D, which is different from all capitalized corporate. You know. No, well, well, the, that that's not over here. Cause remember, Canada doesn't have a, a um, um, de jure venue. Uh, venue. We're the de jure of Canada. Okay. They don't have any de jure from top to bottom, from Supreme Court to Family Court. No. The, like. They have no power whatsoever, right? These are these are the quote-unquote colonists who came out of the dominion that started doing their own stuff, and then we're going with them like they're the actual whoever they say that they are because they got the flag, they got the anthem, they got the whatever. When they're not the people, you know what I mean? Because again, we go back to the whole thing that if this is the dominion. The right? dominion is still corporate, right? And 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 means that it's not here. Well, there's a home. Anyway. There's a home yeah, place. Yeah. If oh, this yeah. is the dominion, then oh, where, okay. where's the dominion actual jurisdiction? Right, right, right. The, the actual jurisdiction is not even over here. It's Britain. Right. The dominion. Right. Yeah. So how do they have jurisdiction yeah. across yeah. the ocean yeah. here? Yeah. Right. And we're here, yeah. Because everybody's going with the fact that oh, this is Canada. And this is whatever, which gives those people jurisdiction to do whatever they want. Because Canada's a fiction. This is Morocco. All right. True. Her face is still on the paper. Oh, like, her, her face is on the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if, they, if, if her face is on the stuff over here, and people think that Canada is own jurisdiction, and they're not, people exactly. are tripping. Exactly. Like, well, you know, there's there's no, no constitution. That too. It's, it's really heavy knowledge, you know. That shouldn't mean that there's no real government here. Right. Yeah, there is like, well, even if there is, we are the government. The constitution, exactly. Or, yeah, they could not be. Right. Well, they, 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 we said we are. Yeah, they're government here. Look, how could there be a real government here if here is Morocco and Great Britain is allied with Morocco? If you have a treaty with somebody, you can't go to their land and claim their land. Mm -hmm. You could send people and let those people do something. But if you if you go to their land and take their land, then that's an outward act of war. No, Any one two people can say, hey, wait a second, I'm I come from that empire, and you we have a treaty. What are you doing? Yeah, you can't just take our land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they never took Canada. That's why Canada used that word. That's why they use that word dominion, because dominion is, doesn't mean anything. True. Right? They had a few colonies. That's it on the east coast, and then from there they said, well, we can't take this over because then our our relationship with the with the Moorish Empire will be over. Or compromise, or, or compromise, or, yeah. or they would have you know some other obligations to deal with that they didn't have to deal with before, right? Because of them violated. Mm -hmm. But the fact that a lot of people that don't get the concept of Canada being a corporation, right? Okay, well, why are all these? Why are all these? Um, 
other area or dominions underneath that they're supposed to be underneath them, like say Toronto, Mississauga, Hamilton, um, even the Kingston Jail is older than so-called Canada, which is 150 something years, and these places are 180 years and 200 years. Okay. So how are they? I mean, how are they? The the boss or of these jurisdictions that's older than them. Exactly. That's just a, that has to show you there's some kind of fraud going on. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't understand it, that just has to tell you there's some kind of fraud going on because mm -hmm. if you're if you're supposed to be the country, so called country, then you're supposed to be older than everybody else. Mm -hmm. well, same thing where I agree with the Morocco that they don't know that Morocco is here and thinking it's over here where that one must be like how many years old? 60 years old? Yeah. 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 60, 60 years so old. Like 58, 59. That Morocco was created like what, 58, yeah. 1958 or something like that? Okay. So no, 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 that's why when I, when I talk yeah. to some of those so-called Middle Eastern and they keep saying to me that Morocco, then I have to bring them back. Yeah. And then they realize it. And then they agree with it. They, they, yeah, they get they it. Because they say, look, you see like Canada, 150 years, you get that, right? Yeah. What it was before, you need that. And the same thing with the Morocco, what you see over there, 60 years. Before Canada even come here, when they come here, they come to Morocco. Yeah. 150 years, they come to Morocco. When they come here. I have a question. How is it that Ontario is not affiliated with Canada whatsoever? How is, How is it possible? For Ontario, because I called them and I asked them regarding like tax exemptions and stuff. Mm. And they said that Ontario, Canada has nothing to do with Ontario, and Ontario has no affiliation whatsoever with Canada. They're complete two different governments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. said, but they're isn't this di Canada? They're two different private corporations. That's, That's all it is. Weird. Private corporations. Toronto's, 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 Toronto's a different Just corporation. Just to think, for thinking. You think in the whole of this space is Canada, and now it's Canada. 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 That's why they have two taxes. They have different companies. Provincial. Provincial. I'm so mad. No, no, you don't have to get mad. It's two different companies. And then I asked, who is in control of the provincial government? And they're mentioning the federal again. I said, but you said the federal is Canada. This is Ontario um, Parliament, whatever I yeah, call it. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys are confusing me. Oh, certain no, parts yeah, of that's the federal point. Are that's the whole job. point. That's the point. Certain <laughs> parts of federal. That's, are that's why. Ontario. That's why. That's why you don't go to them. Because yeah. they can't. They can't tell you. They don't even know what this is. <laughs> the world doesn't even know what what Canada is. I asked them. They tell you so, but it's like for real. The world doesn't know. They don't know. The world doesn't know. Because you're going to Jamaica right now. They say you're coming from Canada, eh? They told me in order to have a vehicle in Canada, you must oh, possess sorry. a driver's license. Yeah. Oh, sorry. A Ontario license plate, driver's license from Ontario. Yeah. You just told me that Canada. It's not affiliated with you guys. So, yeah, but 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 it's but it's not because the license, the license, right, mm -hmm. is Ontario's, yeah. not Canada's. Yeah, it's not Canada. For real. Ontario. I know, but the plates yeah, yeah, are yeah, Ontario. But they Ontario. said to me in order to, to have one in Canada, you must have an Ontario. But she said, but then he told me that Canada and Ontario are no affiliation. Yeah. It's like it's like okay. Look at it like this. Look at it like this. Right. You can. Walmart's a department store, but you can get groceries there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's not a grocery store. They never call it a grocery store. It's a department store, but you can get groceries there. You get even tires for your car there too. You get tires for your car there. You can get whatever there. What's in Union? Right. So, you know, look, look at, look at, look at the broad, right? The the like. If, if, because I understand what you're doing with the whole thing with the, the, the car issue or whatever, right? Yeah. So, logically, you're going to call the people who, whose who stuff is on the, on the thing. Mm -hmm. Ontario license, Ontario plates, insurance, it's based in Ontario, whatever, okay, cool. We'll call them. You call them and they're telling you that these things are separate, Right? Does that mean they're letting you know what's up? And that means they're letting you know. They're letting you know, hey, these two people, these two places are one's over there, one's over here. We didn't even bring in the municipal yet. 
and, and they're in their own, they're in their own thing, right? But but again, you know, they're the game's up for them. They're doing everything that they can, stitch this thing together, make this thing look like there's no holes, holes everywhere. They can't even prevent it right now. Because Canada has a treaty with Morocco on their website. Yeah. What website? Yeah. Which, which Morocco? The government website. Which, which, which Morocco? The Empire Morocco. Kingdom of Morocco. Yeah, right. The Kingdom of Morocco. Right. Right. The Kingdom of Morocco. Right. Kingdom is the current Morocco. Kingdom is over there. Right? Oh. Yeah, it's the current Morocco. 60 years old when you're yeah. talking now. Yeah. That's where they created that. That's where those agreements were made. But we see that there's yeah. a treaty like that on Canada's website? It's on, yeah, it's online. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was looking for regarding well, the tax. Well, the confusion again. But there's nothing still even in power. It's a green one. Yeah. But it's making like business and stuff. Yeah. 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 But remember that they're dealing with the Trade. kingdom. Yeah. They're that. not dealing with the empire. Because uh -uh. as soon as they start talking empire, they become... <laughs> Can't talk because they have no jurisdiction at that point. Because if you're in the empire, then you're a colonist. So you're a subject of Morocco if you're a colonist. So whatever Moroccans say is what the law is, not what they say, which is what they don't want. Which is why they keep playing this thing. Oh, Ontario, uh, Canada, um, Manitoba, MB. O N. It's not the same Morocco. It's done with. But as soon as they say Morocco, mm -hmm. then all that Canada, Ontario, Toronto, all that stuff does not stand now. But then again, if the people keep pushing that idea, Canada, mm -hmm. Canada, Ontario, and whatever, then the colonists are like. Oh, we, we just, we just, we're here another 20 years, yes. You know, then 20 years will go by, people still say in Ontario, yes, we got another 20 years here. When all these people should be about renouncing. Ontario, what's that? I don't know what that is. I know that's an indigenous word, but I know that that has nothing to do with some Europeans claiming that they're a government over here. Well, Canada, oh, that's an indigenous word. What do you mean that's the name of a government for Europeans? Canada's an indigenous word. How is that a European government? Can't be. The only way that it can be is if people are dumb in the mind. But you, but you know, brother, that's also a serious question because on a real it's like, hold on a sec. Now, you got to prove to me how you know that word. Don't do that. How are you of my people? How are you of my culture? How do you know that word? My mama and my daddy told me that word means something different. Right. What, do you, what do you interpret that word to mean? That's, that's a word that comes from... My ancestors, you know. So like the definition so of Ontario? Proud. What? Like the definition of, like of Ontario? Ontario? Like Ontario, even Toronto, Toronto. even Canada, uh, they call it Canada. Okay, what's their definition of? What limitation upon the word that they put right. upon the word? You know, my mama, my grand, my grandmama, my grand, they, they show me this, this means this. You know? well, and, and, and that's the, that's the thing, that, you know, we have, a, we have a charge to honor the foremothers and forefathers. Mm -hmm. So if we're not honoring the foremothers and forefathers, then the, the power to define is on, is, is on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because ancestors already laid down. Yeah. This is Morocco over here. Flag's been here 10,000 years. Who, who, who got claims? Somebody got claim? If you got claim, all right, let me see your flag, let me see your treaty, let's yeah. see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, you don't got flag treaty? Oh, you're talking about a treaty with some kingdom that just came out in 1956? Mm. Hell out of here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Because I, my foremothers and forefathers said over here is Morocco. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. And again, this goes again back to the thing of, you know, us getting the support so we can stop dealing with them. Yeah. It's all about not dealing with them for anything. Certain things, okay, we got to deal with them right now. But there are certain things we can sever right now, we don't need to deal with them. But it's just the people is not on that mind frame. What was the word that you wrote? Self what? Autonomy? 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 
Self determination. Self determination. What was the title? Self authority. Self authority. Self determination. Was, was, was the Self autonomy. Yeah. But that's what we really need to start depending on ourselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, because then you don't have to worry about that at all. Yeah. You know? Washington DC. If this is Canada, if this is where they're supposed to be doing all their whatever, how come they're not registered in Ottawa? That's just their mailing location. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I noticed that too. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's just what that's that's their post office box. But well, they have a registration number too. Canada, right? Yeah. 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 To the US. So C I K. So confusing. C I K. Yeah. C I K number. So confusing. Um, I mean, the process of trying to get my nationality and ID, change my name, I understand the basics, I just need guidance on the tools and the correct steps to do it. So with regard to nationality, like we tell people, if you're new to this information, um, take yourself for two years, get some study in it. Forget cards, papers, plates, and not pay taxes and all that stuff. Forget all that. Put some time into getting your mind right because no matter how much spiritual, um, metaphysical, law, power is you put in a paper, if your mind's not working, that paper is not working. I don't care how powerful you think that paper is, who wrote it for you, who did it, hand it down to you. If no Jolly gave you that paperwork and your mind's messed up, that paperwork ain't working. Right? So, the first thing that we stress people to do is, you know, Noble Jolly said take two hours in an up-to-date library and you'll get verified as to how real this is. We say two years. Forget two hours. Because <laughs> we've been Negroes all our life. <laughs> so, you, the, the Negro... Yeah. Um, film is not just coming off with just a one wash. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let the soap down, you know, the let the soap too. stay a little bit. You not, know only I mean? that, not only that, when you wash it off, when you walk out, you, you're bouncing against him. So right. It's, it's, it's on getting you on you again. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. on you again. Yeah. So it's, right. it's not just like washing it. Soap. Exactly. No, you're still going to... So, so we're trying to get to the place where, you know what I mean, the mind's right, then the mind's right, then the spirit's right, the spirit's right, then the auric feels going to be like way out there. So these people know you're coming before you even get there. You'll be able to feel these people coming before they even get to you. And then we could start fixing some of the problems. But, you know, one of the biggest problems that our people have is that Negroes don't read. And because they don't read, they miss out on everything. critical information for their salvation. Especially now with click world where you just push something and... You know, you have three hours, the guy's going to talk to you about some stuff. But if he talks to you for three hours and he never showed you one book or whatever as a reference point, clearly he's not about you studying, he's about trying to be your master. Yeah, you something. He's trying to be the guy that you keep running to them, right? Whether you're paying, whether you're just giving them energy, sitting in front of the thing, like, oh yeah, I can't wait for the next one and all that Clicks, stuff. Clicks, likes. Clicks, likes, <laughs> thumbs ups and all that type of stuff. That's not real learning. I mean, mad people, only because something has 5,000 views, they watch. And again, they're going to go on those things and they're going to see that none of these people are giving them references. They're going to say, the definition of whatever is this, and they don't tell you where they got that from. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? At least Morris will give you the books. Morris will give you the page number, whatever, so you can check for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Back to, you see there. Trust and the will. Yeah. The trust is when the, you're still alive. Right. The will part right. is when you're deceased. Yeah. Say that again. So, Say that again. The trust. 
the blind the individual is still alive, like the will is when the person. So to begin with, you start with the trust, because the person is still alive, or it becomes a will after. No, no, the will, the will is, the, it, what what they call it now is a will. Oh, okay. So it's the same. In this day and time, they call it a will. Oh, okay. But before wills, it was oh, trust. Right. Okay. It still functions the same way. Right, but it's the same, it's the same idea. It's just that the will has to do with, well, after the person is gone, that's then they read the will, that. and that's how you get the stuff. No, oh, okay. but the trust is right. We know it before the will, or lays on yeah. before the person dies. Right. So like, um, so like, let's say, let's say, um, let's say the the chain was an heirloom mm -hmm. that your dad gave your dad, you gave your dad. You put that in the trust so that he gets it. Supposed to put it in a will, because then if you put it in a will, then it's gonna go before the quote unquote magistrate or the lawyer or whoever who can say, "Nah, you, we're not giving you that stuff. We're taking it." You know the will says for you. Yeah, because the jurisdiction of the will is is not on on who created it. That's why. That's why they always bring lawyers when they have to do wills. We trust you don't need that. We trust it's it's, you. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. the integrity. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We uh -huh. trust it's I know that this has some value. Uh -huh. Instead of me selling it for fiat or whatever like that, you know what? We're gonna put this into this trust and then let the future generations ben off, benefit off of this thing that has so much value. Opposed to me benefiting off it now. And then when it gets to them, then they get nothing. Yeah, have a problem getting it, yeah. Right? Or have a problem accessing it or whatever, mm -hmm. which is the problem that people have when they deal with wills and whatever else. Yeah. Because you're letting other people into your affairs, just like we, we the, the issue that we have. Mm -hmm. Somebody always wanting to be in our pocket for a little something of our stuff. Everything. It just goes back to the, what we're saying on the ownership of the car and whatever right. you say. You have to give it to them. You know, you right. Know. Yeah, more. Um, take a couple more questions if anybody got. Recently, I I got this this ticket um for like running a red light or whatever, right? And then I, I went to the the traffic courthouse to set like a trial date, right? But they gave me they gave me this yellow form to fill out basically, and on the form it had questions like who would be attending the trial date, etc., right? So I I was kind of puzzled because I didn't know That's if I should. You, I never heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a new system going on. Put it in the, in the nah, system. Give you the form date now, and, and yeah, then you have to fill out that. form and stuff. But Interesting. um, I I didn't fill out the form yet because I'm I'm not sure if I should put the free national name because yeah. they ask who's going to be appearing, yeah. right? But I don't I don't really want to put my free national name on their documents and then file it with them. But oh yeah, oh yeah. Put that on there. But then that, the that's what you're going to go. Will be that's what you're going to be going in there. Right. To, that's to, what makes the most sense. To bring up, yeah. Right. So you know what I mean, that it would. It so would yeah. So like in like instances like um, instances like like for me, anything doing with with the corporate the corporate jurisdiction where they're gonna have say or they're gonna have you know opportunity to to um, shoot down or whatever like that. Mm -hmm put free national name so you have the right to say, oh, sorry, objection, you can't shoot anything down around here. Okay. Right. I'm not in the jurisdiction for you guys to be shooting down stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, minuscule things, no matter what name you use, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like with, with um, phone people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you call them anytime. Yeah, I want to change the name on this or whatever. Yeah, what, what name you want to take? Oh, ABC Company. All right, cool, no problem. Once you're paying your bill, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to them. But real issues that we want to deal with it, free national name. So that way we have the we have the um the right to address certain things. As soon as we see it starting to go, starting to lean like this or whatever, we can say, oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. You know what I mean? It can't, it can't go there. And then don't forget too, um, when you um, when you fill it out, get your date and all that stuff. Also find out about how to get the um, in chambers hearing. Right. I remember you talked about yeah. that before. 
Right? I did ask one the other day and she said no. Mm. She told me no. Like they won't, they won't give you that? You didn't ask her for it, you asked her if that's what it was. No, 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 I tell her that I wanted to have an in chambers meeting instead of the, the free trial. How right. about an in chambers meeting? Oh, no, yeah, because they, they, they wouldn't do that free trial. Right. You can't, they wouldn't do that free trial. No, no, instead of free trial. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Free, free trial is, free trial is to, is to set, set the date, whatever. set the whatever. No, no, she said free whatever. trial is like we could resolve it that we don't even have to go to trial. trial. That's yeah, what she said. Yeah. Pre -trial. Mm -hmm. yeah, you do that. Yeah, but I think you still would even have to go to pre-trial first, and at, at the pre-trial they might say, "Yo, come right now." And no, no, there's date for trial. Yeah, like the the four days days after, after, a week after. Day. I, is it try, yeah, but I'm saying date is different. they can decide that they don't even yeah. want to try you, right? Get up and just say, "Come to the in, in chamber meeting." That's what I asked for, but she yeah. said no. You don't understand. Before the pre-trial. Yeah, instead of pre-trial. But yeah, but what we're saying is you probably have to have people, like their their system is set up so that yeah, yeah, yeah. the trial is how necessary no matter is. what. Oh. Yeah, how their system is. Yeah, you want to be at the trial. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be making any type of um, argument that, or whatever, the judge um, said she recommended it. She didn't say you have to have pre-trial. She said I recommend that you have pre-trial for my dad. Yeah, man. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. And then I asked her about it, what it is. He said, well, the pre-trial, it could probably resolve it right here. And yeah, the trial. Yeah. I think that's yeah. when they decide on if there's enough facts. If there's enough the facts to go, to go forward with the, forward the actual trial. trial. Yeah. 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 So sometimes it does get resolved there. But, that, but that's the thing with, with um, um, sending in something yeah. when you're dealing with them. So that there's there's a record of how you what you're going in there about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Just going in and saying, well, I want to do whatever, mm -hmm. it has them standoffish because now you have all these people around too. You're asking about things that, you know, people are not supposed to be asking about yeah, on the floor. You surprise them. Because you jump, you jump the gun on them. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to make them look messed up if they give you a thing in front of everybody. I and know, then nobody because else when I asked her, her what's your nationality, man? Mm -hmm. Lady, what's your nationality? Oh, I'm Canadian. Oh. oh. <laughs> the judge, the so-called judge says she's yeah. Canadian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, she is. She is an employee of Canada. Employee. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I did not ask her, ask her nationality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so, she's while she's at down on that job, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, she's, that's, she's Canadian there, right? Maybe yeah, she take off those robes or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She ain't Canadian when yeah, she's not in the robes. Not gonna tell you otherwise. <laughs> you know, if she let them robes go. <laughs> she's gonna tell you about British, Scottish, then I should ask German. Her your, I could ask her maybe your your great 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 or four great grandmother. Who are they? Where your bloodline yeah. should come from? Who are they? Definitely Canadian? they won't be Canadian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely they won't be Canadian. They won't be Canadian. Right. So, um, can you touch back on the town hall meeting yeah. again? Right. Okay, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to send out an email. Right. Um, Omari's going to send out, it's going to come from Omari. Right. Um, he has a list, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to ask, um, for a good, like, in terms of confirmation of how many, of how many people could come so in we, person, right? right? This, um, that would be here, right? That would be here. Oh, it depends on how many, That's so 50 we people are flying, we're not going to do it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It would be, if, if, if it would be here it's next Saturday, number. if it's a small number, right. okay? So, um, if enough people respond, then it, we wouldn't be able to really hold it here, so we'll do um, the conference call. And then if maybe we can get like a larger space, we'll do a larger space or we'll do like a second conference call to cover the same issues. And from there, we'll be doing conference calls for more regular town, town meetings. Okay. So, Sounds you know, good. smaller issues and just to voice your concerns, whatever. That way, you know, it's not a pressure on people to, to show up here or show up wherever um, to just be, be heard. And then maybe once a, once a season, we'll have like a big meeting. Right, but once the like I'm just setting up the conference call uh, thing right now, so we can use it any time. Right. Oh well, yeah, we also got um if you haven't gotten we have um 
the Wisdom of the Womb album has a um, hard copy now, um, 25 notes. If you online people, temples or businesses, whatever, um, uh, 150 at 15 notes each for 10. So you get boxes of 10 if you're looking at distributing or whatever. Um, so just send the email or whatever like that, Canaan Land Guide. Um, you do your donations through um, culturaleducators at gmail.com and we'll send out your boxes and all that. And don't forget, you can also get um, um, In the Spirit Of, anonymous new album, um, 10 notes, CD as well, or if you want download, just um, request in your in your cultural educators at gmail donation that you want download instead of um, actual CD. Any, any other questions? I just want to add something. You want yeah. to know that the Wisdom of the Womb is a triple CD? Say that again? And you want to know to the people that the triple CD is a triple CD. Yeah, yeah triple, triple disc, Wisdom of the Womb. Um, Mixed, recorded, mastered, produced, whatever, by Morris. So, like who's on it? Um, who's on it? I know. Shot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give people their little... So one of the issues that we had was um, there was an email compromise. So, we lost the producer list. Oh, sure. But, um, we got three discs. Got three discs. Um, got myself, brother Tesba, Raka L, Adwa, Yasun, Asim, Gibraltar, Nafir, Young Dundas, JB. Um, Shem. Fe. Fe. Brother, brother Yafa, Yafa Bay. Mm -hmm. um, Raven. Hey, Sister Raven. Jaruts. Dr. Jamal L. Bay. Roots K. Roots K. TRS. Star B. Big J, Black Dot. Yeah. Stacked roster. Yeah, pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty stacked roster. I think um, 20, 26 artists or something like that. Is J B from um, Chop Z, KTS, yeah. yeah. Akil Bay. How many tracks? 24 tracks? Yeah, for 30, 33 tracks. You see? 33. Um, Sister Dina. He's on it. So, so, right, so that's it. We'll um, close out. So um, just remember, town hall is going to be coming up soon. Um, yeah, look out for the email. Yeah. Also, if you, if you have any um, connections with people, with spaces or whatever, um, Black History Month's coming. So, we're looking to get out and, you know what I mean, get, get into some spots. So, if you have any connections or, you know, people looking for lectures and whatever like that, okay. make sure you send them our contact so we just can get with them. <laughs> you know? Well, the issue with them is that you can't get in to those places without invite. Like high schools and schools and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's either it's either going to be independent things that we do, and we can open it up to high school people. You know what I mean? So we could have a lecture. Just like how people go to places and have presentations at high school. Yeah, but those people are invite. All those people are invite. Right? Um. And we are supposed to be um, doing um, Ottawa, 
I think, I think on February 20th, 24th. February 24th. Yeah. February 24th. We're supposed to be doing Ottawa. So, um. You mean doing Ottawa? Go in there, yeah. Yeah, to do, to do some lectures out there. Or a lecture out there. Uh, we try to do it every year. We went last year. We tried to go again this year. So we'll keep the word out so Morris can get their self in order. If they want to make that trial, we can go out there as a fleet and beat up on Ottawa. All right, so we'll close out this long talk to Morris. The students online and everybody else out there. Right. Let's close out. Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of Father of the Universe. A lot of Father of the Universe. Father of Love. Father of Love. Truth. 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 Peace. 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 Freedom. 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 And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. My guide. And my salvation. And my salvation. salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. To His Holy Prophet. To His Holy Prophet. Noble Juali. Noble Juali. Islam. Islam. Ashe. 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 Ashe.